Well, this is a story that we first told you on Fox 9 last night. An urban cougar prowling a Minneapolis neighborhood and apparently it is not in a hurry to leave. Apparently not. Neighbors waking up this morning again to very clear tracks in the fresh layer of snow we received overnight. Fox 9's <laughs> resident cougar expert, Courtney Godfrey, <laughs> joins us live. Courtney, what is the city saying about all this? <laughs> Well, first of all, my career has peaked, Randy. Yeah, I know, the I know it has. Expert here at Fox <laughs> I can retire. I can retire proud. Uh, the city is telling everyone to remain on the lookout because now there is evidence that this cat has stuck around and they just want everyone to be vigilant. It's the home security footage that's taken this urban neighborhood by storm. Well, I'm just surprised. I'm, I'm wondering why it chooses to stay here so long because it wouldn't be my choosing of where I would be if I were a cougar. With this brother-sister duo hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive cat. We jumped out of the car as soon as we got home and we just, my brothers looked over the neighbor, looked over the street and everywhere, looked for some paw prints. We didn't find any. As photos of fresh tracks were shared among neighbors in Lowry Hill, more than a full day after the cougar was captured prowling across someone's driveway. I am very excited and way more cautious when I go outside. It could stay in an area for a few days if, if uh, there's a food source but that's likely not going to keep it there for, for a long period of time. The DNR's large carnivore specialist, Dan Stark, says while it's rare to see in the city, cougars do travel the state. One spotted on home security cameras in Carver just three weeks ago and in Mankato five weeks before that, with sightings increasing the last five years. Yeah, there is more cougar activity. You know, there are probably more of them wandering through, but also... I think cameras have just become more popular and they're more prevalent and we're, we're, we're getting more of those images of them. The DNR maintains that there's no breeding population here and that they haven't found evidence of females or cubs. And as to how long this one will stay, only time will tell. I do want to see the cougar, but from a safe distance. Yeah, and they say if you do see that cougar, you want to get big, you want to get loud uh, so that the cougar feels intimidated by you and that they'll just run off. If you do encounter the cougar or you see it on your camera or you find any trace of the cougar around your home, the DNR does want to hear about it. And you can also contact the city by just dialing 311. Reporting live in Minneapolis tonight, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9. Hey, Courtney, next time you do that story, take the fur off your collar. <laughs> oh, Randy. Oh, Good dear. advice. <laughs> All right. Several developments.